And today the question is on C output based questions, pseudocode, fine. So in pseudocode, we'll see the logic. So maximum of the organization, they wanted to see only the logic. Because of that, they give you uh, some question, which is language independent. So here we'll not talk about C, we'll talk only about the pseudocode, fine. So let's start with the question. So this is pseudocode type kind of question, where uh, what will be the value of X? What will be the value of X where N is 115, fine. So you are asking a question, what will be the value of X? So fine, you have asked input a number, you have inputted a number, which is 115. So number is having value 115. So I'm writing this number, is having value 115 fine okay i is 0 and x is 0 so number is i'm writing number here number is 115 i is 0 x is 0 function in function we are passing a value int number number is what 115 fine okay while number is greater than 0 is 115 greater than 0 yes true 115 is greater than 0 condition true what I'll have, y will have number modulo 10. 115 modulo 10 will give you 5. So current value of y will become 5. Fine. 6, this is power. This is not XOR. 6 to the power i. So z, that is z, x, 6 to the power i. That is z is equal to 6 to the power 0 because the current value of i is 0. So anything to the power 0 is 1. So the current value of z become 1. x is equal to x into x plus x is 0. Current value of x is 0. 0 plus y what is y 5 into z what is 1 which is equal to which is equal to what 5 so current value of x become 5 i plus plus the value of i will become 1 fine and number will be down number n u m b e r number will become I'll, I'll make number over here only now number will become number by 10 so it will become 11 fine it will become 11 so the current value of number will become 11 and why no i'll not go out of loop unless condition is false i'll again check is 11 now current value of number is 11 is 11 greater than 0 yes condition true why will have number modulo 10 number is 11 11 modulo 10 will give you one yes fine okay then z will have 6 to the power i 6 to the power 1 why because current value of i is 1 so 6 to the power 1 is 6 x will have x the current value of x is 5 so 5 plus y what is y 1 into z z is 6 so this will give you 11 so this will give you 11 fine i will increment i i will become 2 so i will become 2 fine number will become what is number current value of number 11 11 by 10 will give you what one so current value of 11 number will become one fine we'll again go up and check is one greater than zero yes one is greater than zero condition is again true y will have one modulo 10 one modulo 10 will give you one so y will become one six will become six to the power two the current value of i is two so six to the power two will give you what 36 fine x will have x current value of x is 11 this 11 plus y current value of y is 1 plus z is now 36 so z is now 36 so 36 into 1 is 36 37 and this is 48 so current value of x become 48 fine and you will uh, divide 1 by 10 that because number is 1 1 by 10 will give you 0 so the number will become 0 you will again go up and check is 0 is greater than 0 no now condition become false so you will come out of the loop and you will return x. What is the value of x? 48. Do you have any answer 48? No. The current, the correct answer is none of this. So the answer is none of these, none of the given. So this is the correct answer. So at last I'll say thank you so much.